Hello, I'm J. Cole Sanford. I'm a cash crop product specialist for the Northeast region of the U.S. And uh, today we're showing the uh, first public unveiling in North America of the CR-10. CR-10 is the next generation chassis that follows along from the CR-11 that we showed earlier this year in the North American marketplace. So it carries a lot of the same technology. Really, this was a, a, a combine built from a clean sheet of paper. It's a, it's a next generation unit. And the design teams came up with all their innovations and all those sorts of things with the idea of decreasing the total cost of harvesting. All right, so with the CR10 and 11, um, the next generation chassis, uh, we're up on the engine deck, and this is uh, really the heart of the machine, right, from a horsepower standpoint. The engine here that you see is a 13-liter Cursor, um, and it's uh, produced in-house by FBT, one of our engine, or our engine supplier here uh, on the, in the CNH world. Um, and this thing is uh, pushing about 635 horse, and this is what's really unique about the drive line that, it, that I discussed there a little bit earlier was that the engine is in the same angle as the rotors. So if we imagine the rotors, they are at this exact angle, and the idea is to get this drive line in line with the actual rotors themselves. If we don't have to have any lefts and rights and turns and, and zigs and zags, so to speak, um, we can get much more power efficiency uh, through the drive line, and that's one of the key things that, that, that we gained here. It's kind of a unique setup, uh, but FBT uh, works, of course, with our uh, design folks, and they have uh, provisions for running engines at unique angles in their world of engines. So this was kind of a unique design. On the back of the engine, this is where you see all the PTO components. So this, this silver housing right here houses the hydromechanical drive for the feeder. It also houses the hydromechanical drive for the rotor. And that's what gives us the ability to reverse the rotors or reverse the, the feeder house like you would normally do. Um, and so if we have any kind of blockages or anything like that, we use these systems right here. It's a really unique uh, setup, um, and it also allows us to do unique things with the cooling package. So if we look at the front half of the engine, you notice on the CR10, because of its horsepower rating, we have uh, two engine cooling fans, and in the front there are our cooler uh, package, uh, rad or radiator screens, and then on the front of them is two rotating rotary air screens. And that's where the engine and combine draws its clean air, is actually behind the grain tank and in front and top of the engine. Um, that's really the cleanest place during harvest uh, to gather your air, and it uses that air blast and blows it across the back of the engine and then back across the deck, and it keeps this area really, really clean. So it does a fantastic job for, uh, uh, for providing an efficient uh, way of getting power to those rotors. Um, the other unique thing is that cooler package sits between you and the operating station or in the cab and the engine. So it's also a sound barrier. We're really excited, really proud of this monster engine installation uh, to, to create all that horsepower uh, to get all that productivity out of the machine. If you want to learn more about the machine, search New Holland uh, Agriculture on any of the social media channels as well as go to newholland.com slash NA and that's where you can find uh, your facing dealer and you can contact them and you never know, you might even get a product specialist to come out on the visit to talk shop about the new CR1011. So real excited about what we have and thank you very much.